This video will demonstrate the recommended process for the setup and basic service tasks for your Dorner ERT-250 conveyor. Please refer to the service manual for more information on these steps. You'll need the following tools, a level, 4mm hex wrench, 5mm hex wrench, 6mm hex wrench, and a 13mm wrench. Attaching the stands. To attach stands to the conveyor, you'll need to install mounting hardware on both sides of the stand. Here, the stand has already been put into place. Thread the screw into the slide-in nut, insert through the end cap, and slide it down the conveyor channel. Slide the hardware into the slots on both sides of the top plate and tighten. To adjust the stands, loosen the two screws on each stand leg and raise or lower the leg. Make sure the conveyor is level and then tighten screws. Connecting corner conveyors. To install the conveyor to a corner conveyor, slide one connecting strip into the conveyor channel. Then, with the other connecting strip attached to the connecting plate, slide it into the other conveyor channel. Secure with four bolts and tighten. Side cover removal and installation. Remove the screws holding the side cover onto the conveyor frame. Rotate and remove the side cover from the conveyor frame. To install the cover, place the cover, ensuring it's seated onto the channel of the conveyor frame. Then, secure the cover with screws. Torque the screws to 25 inch-pounds. Drive shaft relocation. Install the sprocket removal tool between the gears where the drive shaft is located. Remove the screw that holds the gear onto the roller shaft and repeat for the second gear. Using the opposite end of the sprocket removal tool, pry the gears from the roller shaft. Remove the screw from the center of the bearing assembly. Remove the bearing assembly and roller assembly. Remove the washer from the drive shaft. Using a hammer and pin punch, drive out the pin that holds the roller onto the shaft. Ensure you're driving the pin out through the slotted hole, not on the side of the roller where the pin is sticking out. Remove the retaining ring from the shaft. Slide the roller back onto the shaft and remove the hex shaft. Remove the roller and shaft from the conveyor. Remove the roller from the opposite side and reinstall in the new drive shaft location. Place the drive shaft in its new location and install the hex shaft. Reinstall the pin and replace the roller. Replace the retaining ring. Install the washer and bearing assembly. Attach the bearing assembly to the conveyor with a screw and tighten. Replace the lock washer and bearing. Install the other roller and washer and bearing. Attach the rollers with screws, ensuring proper orientation. Use the sprocket tool to hold the gears in place while tightening screws. Torque the screws to 88 inch-pounds. Lower gear replacement. 
First, we'll remove the two gears above the lower gear that we're replacing for easier access. Insert the sprocket removal tool and remove the center screws from the gears. Then pry off the gears with the other end of the sprocket tool. Loosen the screw on the lower gear. Remove the screw and the gear from the frame. Remove the spacer from the end of the gear. Replace the spacer in the new gear and reinstall onto the frame. Torque the screw to 88 inch pounds, then reinstall the upper gears. Torque the screws to 88 inch-pounds. Slip Roller Replacement Install the sprocket removal tool next to the roller that needs replacing. Remove the screw that holds the gear onto the roller shaft. Using the opposite end of the sprocket removal tool, pry the gear from the roller shaft. Remove the roller assembly from the conveyor frame. Reattach the gear to the frame with a screw. Torque the screws to 88 inch-pounds. Motor relocation. The motor can be relocated to any location with a frame plug. Remove the screw connecting the motor to the spring nuts in the conveyor frame. Lower and remove the motor from the conveyor frame. Remove the spring nuts from the old motor location. Remove the plug at the new location and place it into the previous motor location. Install two spring nuts into the bottom slotted area of the frame. Raise the motor into position on the frame. Then attach the motor with two low head cap screws onto the spring nuts. And tighten the screws. Motor idler gear replacement and motor replacement. First, remove the screws connecting the motor to the spring nuts in the conveyor frame. Lower and remove the motor from the frame. To replace the idler gear, remove the screw holding the idler gear onto the motor mounting bracket. Remove the spacer from the idler gear. Install the spacer into the new gear and reattach to the motor bracket with a screw. Torque the screw to 88 inch-pounds. To replace the motor, remove the two screws holding the cover to the motor bracket. Remove the cover from the motor bracket. Remove the four screws and the motor mounting bracket from the motor. Loosen the two set screws on the gear and remove the gear from the motor shaft. Then remove the key from the end of the motor shaft. On the new motor, with the key in place, install the gear. Tighten the two set screws. Torque the set screws to 40 inch pounds. Replace the motor mounting bracket and attach with four screws.
Replace the cover. Secure it with two screws. Raise the motor into position on the frame. Attach the motor with two low head cap screws onto the spring nuts and tighten screws. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you found it useful. For more information on these steps, refer to the service manual.